Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. So um, we are going to start the Kogias um, Valentine's Day event. So we're going to do some summonings and uh, do some gameplay as well. I haven't played the game all day, so I have a lot of AP stored up, for better or for worse. Also, funnily started off the evening. I know and I know they're having a Spider-Man moment. You know the famous meme where the characters point at each other? See, there, she realizes her duplicate is staring at her. It's kind of funny. Uh, anyhow, there is that. So let's get into it. So let me go and... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> you guys couldn't see my screen. I'm an idiot. Okay, so here I know and I know are staring at each other. Again, it's a Spider-Man moment. Anywho, that's uh, that's what's going on there. It's a little higher. It's a little bigger. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'll show you the event. You know, that's a good point. Um, well, this one's based on Layla and C. Uh, about to say C two. No, C two is used actually in the game itself. Uh, where is it here? Uh, one more. Yeah, so C2 is actually one of the characters that you can um, use to improve your XP. But no, um, C2 is not actually in this, and neither is Lelouch in terms of a character you can use. So it's kind of annoying, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, so uh, without further ado, we will go into, um, we'll go into the summonings. I saved up a ton. <clears throat> Excuse me. I stayed up a ton of um, of dice for this. Well, not only is it rare to see her in any fancy clothing, it's rare to see her in something that's like more modest. Like in general, in Koki, yes, like what that shocked me about this image is how all the characters they made Yuffie and uh, Shirley's outfits like modest, and I was like, "Whoa, is this the right franchise?" Because these are very like they're cute, adorable, but they're not like overtly sexualized compared to most of the stuff that the story has given us. So I'm like, oh, this is really nice. It's a nice change of pace. And the art's beautiful, too. I mean, my God. I don't like Shirley that much, but, like, she looks amazing here. The hair color, especially the shades of orange. And Yuffie looks cool, too. I'm uh, I'm very impressed. Uh, anyways, I'm going to remove my face for a second. I don't want to interfere with uh, the summonings. But, uh, all right, let's um, let's start with the first round of this. Let's kick off the festivities. All right, that's good. Um, maybe not. We'll see. She seems pretty excited. I mean, we're going to try a couple of times because I really want Shirley. I, I just really like that design of the character. And she's very powerful. She's actually an S. We Layla's not in this. <laughs> Oh, come on. Not even... Oh, oh God. A upgrade? Oh, thank God. An upgrade. All right, we're not... No no, uh, no little fours here. Oh, God, Jeremiah. No. No, Jeremiah. Fud off. Uh, no. Letta. Ogi. <sighs> Ryu. Come on. Ogi. Really? Klaus? Okay. My God, Ogi all day, man. Spam with the Ogies. And, and Detart. Look, if I summon, we have to get Detart. It's the rules, you know? It's the rules. Gosh darn it. Futaba. I don't hate Futaba, but come on, really? Lloyd? Man, I couldn't get Lloyd before, and they spammed me. All right. Dakota, DJ Khalid. Another one. <laughs> Three ogies. Three ogies. You've got to be kidding me. All right. Another one. Okay. D2. Oh, this is good. This is good. I I'm. I like your expression. It's different. Level four, please. Please level four. At the very least, Euphemia. Okay, upgrade? No upgrade. Damn it. I hope no Tamaki. All right. 
Ogi again. Oh my god, it's the same. The RNG pools today are oh my god, Detart again. Oh my god, surely it's something different. You gotta be kidding me. Freaking Gino Nunnally. No. You gotta be kidding me. All right, okay, at least we got Euphemia. Not not the worst thing ever. A four oh yeah, I know. Damn. My God. And Lux. I like Lux. No complaints there. Oh my god. How much dike do I have left? Alright, we're gonna one more time. One more time. You could never have enough D-tarts. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, well, one more time. This is the last one. I really have no other like guides left for this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dead. Nothing. Worthless. There's nothing in this one. Toto. Wow, what a waste. Valletta. Klaus. If you see nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> Ogie Day. <laughs> Oh, you feed me. Okay. Another one of her. Detart. Detart. Futaba. Ooh, her sister, too. I'll drink to that. No, Shirley. Of course not. All right. Well, we're done. That sucked. Okay. Um, we'll count our blessings, and at least I got. Um, Euphemia, but I really wanted the Shirley too. But whatever, this is what it is. Kind of sucks. Okay. Let's level her up at least. I mean, Cornelia looks all right. I wouldn't say she looks awesome. She looks she looks all right. Let me go get this going. I mean, Euphemia is a very powerful character too. So I'm not going to complain too much. But my God, I I really wanted that Shirley. But whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. All right, let's, let's level her up. I can put my face back, by the way. Okay, let's level her up. All right, stupid dogs are so freaking loud. All right, you feet, you feet, we get it, we get it. Okay, let's continue, continue on here. I wonder if she uses her sword in battle. It'd be kind of cool, but uh, we'll see. I really wanted that Shirley costume. Whatever, you think it looks cool too? By the way, she she looks pretty awesome. Not a fan of the is that is that a bow or cat ears? I can't. I think it's a bow, right? It's a cool outfit though. Man, no Shirley after three rounds. Well, whatever. I'm clean, fresh out, and I'll probably screw for the next event, which will be next month because they keep spamming us to death with these events. But um, I'm gonna try at least to do one summoning per event if I can. I did three. I really wanted that outfit. What's up, dude? You missed all the uh, detar and ogies. There was like detar ogie land everywhere. I got spammed to death with freaking D-Tart and, and Ogie. God, it was awful. Ugh. Freaking D-Tart and Ogie. I don't, even, I don't even hate either character, but I didn't want you guys. So frustrating. I can sell their their um their relics to buy what I want, but it's still irritating. Don't worry, I'm almost loving her up. I'm almost there. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to add to 100. Look how much I stored up just for this event. I figured I'd have to level up certain characters, and I, I got lucky. Yeah, it kind of does. It's a nice outfit. I'm not going to lie. It's a very nice outfit. Uh, again, very surprised Kogi has decided to go more um, modest with the outfits. Because usually they make these characters look, well, absolutely well, ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, all things considering. But, uh, yeah. All right, can I get her to 80? We're going to find out. I got I've stored a lot of capsules. Okay. I think she'll be at 70 at least before I run out of the second level. At least 70, maybe more. I'm not going to get her 100 though cuz uh, I don't have enough resources. Okay, and then finally, the best stuff. And bam. Look at that. Got her to 80. No, no, we're not. Uh, I mean, I could, I can upgrade to to, uh, to ninety, but I'm not actually going to level her up past ninety. 
Unless I really have to, but I'm not going to. Okay. I could also level up her skills. I don't really want to. If you really have to, I will. Otherwise, I'd, I'd rather not. Okay. Now that's done. Let's go play some RPG story battles. Okay. I'm going to do the videos for this later. Um, I owe you guys the last of the New Year's event. I have the footage. I just haven't gone through it yet. I only released the first part. Look at that. Well, I've never seen an alpha before. That's that's like a weird um thing. But anyways, we're not we're not doing this today. Not today. Oh my god, two of these. Yeah, they just spam you with two to start the thing. Ooh, I like the music and the art style. It's it's very nice. Although I'm not sure what the whole Candyland thing is. Anywho, all right, let's um. Oh, this is perfect. This is the uh, this is the birthday uh, team. So I'm gonna swap out Lelouch for Yuffie. There we go. And I'm gonna give her this since this if this is actually important for both gathering resources, but also actually helping you in battle. She looks so cool. Oh my god, that the sword with the outfit. Oh, she looks really awesome in that uh, uniform. Colin, I know, Gigi. And not only the other characters also give you benefits during this time, and also uh, C2. I don't have her though. Um, I think it's because his arm looks larger because it's um, how I put this. It must be due to when it got large, not larger, when it when it expanded during one of his battles. But yeah, it's I will admit it does look kind of weird. It, it's not that big. I, I definitely don't disagree with it looking a little odd. All right. So she, she doesn't fight with the sword. She powers up with the sword. Um, you should play all four Ogies at once. Um, well, uh, you know, the game doesn't let you... So the way it works is... The game doesn't let you play all four characters at once that you unlock. It just gives you more uh, relics you can use. So you can't actually do it that way. But still, you're right. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, you know what I should do? Hold on. Let's be more. Let's be smarter about this. Um, my first play through this uh, story thing here. Skip. Half the team is Ogi and Detard. It's so stupid. I'm going to sell their relics when I get the chance. Kai absolutely did not want either. I don't care if the next event requires me to use Detard. I'm still not using him. Let me swap out this for uh, this item. And I'm going to give Euphemia. The zero one because it boosts your ability to gain intimacy during that battle. Where is the zero one? Oh, do I have the wrong level? Yes, I do. We want four. Here we go. All right, cool. Oh, and actually, actually, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter because we're still doing this. I have no idea what's going on. Honestly, uh, I will admit the gameplay in this in Jezari Code is very hard to follow. I'll try to summarize it like this. So the um, uh, basically, I'll slow it down. So Euphemia is, is powering up the characters. Colin is summoning her um, her Gurin. Ayano is summoning the Alexander, her specific version of it. And then we see Gigi shooting people, and Nully's also powering you guys up. There you go. That's that's. Detar doesn't seem like someone who'd be very useful in a fight unless he throws his news camera at the opponent. Well, actually, what Detar does is his camera. It's it actually makes the opponent feel embarrassed. That's what it does. I know it's, it's silly, but that's what it does. And that picture Yuffie's in the Ashford outfit. Yes, she was a student Ashford in Lucifer Rebellion manga, right? But she wasn't one in the anime. Um, that's right. In the alternative manga, uh, she was alternative universe manga, as you can call it that. She was in the Ashford uniform. That's very true. So I guess there's a little callback to that. The art style in this game is, is more reminiscent of that anyway, so that makes sense. Fixing my uh, mic here. Man, a lot of buffs and debuffs. Holy crap. Oh, I should be using the Gios power. I'm so like, I should be. I keep forgetting to use it. 
Detar was look. I don't hate Detar and Reed as a character. Just that in this game, I don't want him. I wanted like Shirley, and I got like him a million times over. I have so much Detar relic, and we sung all of them to give like Yuffie and Nully. Oh, speaking of that, one second. One second. Where is Nunnally? Nunnally, Nunnally, Nunnally. Nunnally. Ah, we can we can get her next level. Let's do that. Nice, because she's really powerful. But I, I, I'm obviously not... Uh, okay, let's see here. I got my daily stuff done. And it looks like... We'll get these two. They now gave us... Um, Code link tickets you can use to buy code links. It only took them like you know a million years before I got it done. Um, but that's kind of cool. They at least did that. Detard's on the raid. I agree. He's a very interesting character. He's one of the only people I believe who fully understood Lucius intentions. No one else seemed to, but that could just be a bunch of other stuff as well. Oh, unlock the the hard. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we got the normal now. In some footage in the new event, Lucius, Akito, and Sakura together talking to Layla makes me question. Lucius and Layla are the first meeting each other in C2 gas. Aren't you that child I say? <sighs> you know what? When I play through the story, we'll see if that actually happens or not. That's a good question, though. This is literally a good question. What happens? It Because maybe C2 forgot, but I, I doubt it. There's actually fan art of, of Layla and C2 as adults or something. Like, it's some kind of weird alternative history or something. So, yeah, that could totally be it. What the hell? We're in a play? Okay. Uh, create Creativity, I guess? What the fudge? Jeremiah, protect us. Why are we, like, already debuffed? Oh, let me put the autoplay on. That was weird. What the hell was that about? Okay, I'm getting so many detard, huh? Detard stuff is ridiculous. Okay, let's move it on here. Let's go, Mario. That's the goal. Get rid of those buffs, uh, Jeremiah, or debuffs. We got, we got, we haven't again. What the hell? It's kind of cool if he fights, but like, is there a specific character that's more useful in the game than anyone else? Uh, C2 is like one of the best characters in the game. She makes like a barrier that protects all your, um, there's a website here. Let me show you something. Uh, I'll pull it up right here. It's called uh, here it is. If you're wondering, it's called Gen Gear. It's a Japanese website. It's a strategy guide for the game. So if you open it up here, there's a um, I got translated first because I don't understand Japanese. Strongest character ranking. And so yeah, see, Shirley was really powerful. Like uh, see, here's the ranking, right? Can you guys see this here? Let me let me zoom. Okay, you see how one, one more time. You guys still can't see this. All right, there we go. That's a little excessive, but whatever. So you see here, like, these are the SS ring. These are the best characters. So you have Belouche, Zero, C2, Christmas C2, Lu Chang. That's a guy I got yesterday. And then you see uh, Shirley and uh, Colin. So that's why I wanted that Shirley. She's really powerful. Um, Colin, Renya, Kyo, they're kind of like S rank. Yuffie as well. Suzaku is S rank. And if you go on further, Zio is A rank. And then if you go down further, it, it has all the characters, like, literally ranked as here. So it's kind of cool. You can even do this. Um, if I zoom outwards, it even you can even go with um, you can just you can see literally all characters. So if I was to um, where is it? Give me a second. There should be a list of all the characters, just everybody. Um, maybe this is it. I don't know. Yeah, here's the entire list of where everyone ranks in general. So let's go up. Okay, so here we go. So we have Lu Chang, Lelouch, C2, Lelouch again, Zero, Ruki. That's um, from 
Crimson and the Blood Pack. You keep scrolling down. So we see like uh, Nully is is like pretty high up there. But if you go down further, like let's go down to the bottom, like the worst characters. So uh, Gigi and Al are the worst. So Seal is like the fourth worst character in the game, which sucked. I like her a lot. Then you have uh, Ogi, Valetta, Futaba, Jeremiah, and Detar. They're not really well. They're not good in the game. They're good um, in general, like a character wise. They're not not in the game. The cream of the cream is um, is these characters. So there you go. Little little like thing there. Um, I think she does remember her, but again, if the story's smart, they might reference their past. If it's not, then, you know, I'll go through. I'm actually kind of curious to see how the interaction goes. If there is an interaction, we will definitely find out. But yeah, C2 is like one of the best characters. Uh, the three Lelouches, except for uh, Halloween Lelouch, the other ones are really good. Um, good question. I don't think they ever interacted once in the in this game so far. But it's a very good question. Do they that's a good does Renny remember C2? Um at the party they don't seem to talk much, so I guess they don't I guess the story forgot about that. Well, it was it was a sad scene for Detar because he was like, please use the Gios on me. And Lucia's like, sorry, Detar, you're not worth it. How sad is that? Detard's not worth it. He's not worth it. You know? He's not worth it. I kind of wish you if he fought with the sword instead of showed it off or whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> F for respects. Yep. Press F for respects. Happy Valentine. We're getting through this pretty quick. He, well, he was already dying. Also, what? Well, Luce used it on uh, Shirley when she was dying. That doesn't mean anything. I kind of like this whole like current thing opening up. I kind of hope we get the um, next Genesis Code uh, Part 4 out. But, you know, we keep getting more events instead. I'm not against events, but I would prefer maybe more um our doppelganger. Oh no. I guess I didn't get a chance to use it. The chains are why is there chains? What the fudge? Okay. Listen, my connection's really bad. What the fudge? I don't know why it happened. Anyways, also in our topic resurrection movie, Hallelujah have escaped his grave. Well, I believe it was either Shirley, Jeremiah. I think it was Shirley who, who got him out of the grave. I think Jeremiah helped out too. It's never fully explained. The story, the story gives you hints that they were working at on something, but beyond that, there isn't entire it's not entirely clear what happened. But uh, but basically, uh, Jeremiah and Tr Shir Shirley worked together to grab the body. That is what we know for sure. We just don't know exactly how that happened. That's not a good answer, but that's the answer we're given. All right, where was I? Okay. Oh, I, ugh. Jeremiah, do your thing, man. Well, Lush couldn't have. He wasn't technically alive. So you had to um, get his mind back from Seas World first before they could bring... Or I think she tried resurrecting him 
with C's world, but it, like, it didn't work or something. She she explained in the movie. It wasn't entirely clear. I, I've like rewatched it again to to fully understand what happened. But it was something like how she she brought him to to C's world or something of that nature, and it didn't work because Lelouch destroyed C's world, among other things. I mean, Shazza wasn't entirely privileged. He was a, a servant of Zero. But I'm just mad he didn't get punished for anything he did. There was no, there was no trial or anything. It was almost like, um, you know, uh, he committed some war crimes, killed millions of people, was going to kill billions of people, and ultimately it doesn't matter because of, um, well, I don't know. It, it just, they just they don't explain it. Welcome, Neozoic. You missed the summonings. I uh, got Yuffie, but didn't get Shirley because life sucks. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. We got a boss fight. Awesome. The new Yuffie is kind of cool, although she doesn't fight with the sword. It's kind of weird. Like she, she points it very aggressively in a cool way, but, but she doesn't actually use it. I'm like, why don't you just use the sword instead of just pointing it at people? Who the hell knows? What the fudge is that? Do you see this? What the hell? It's like some abomination from uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, if you get the reference. Oh, instead of crap, it's like pudding? Ugh. Oh, sure looks so good too. Damn it. I'm so frustrated. I am the great mighty poo. Oh my god. That game was so good. Conquer Bad Fur Day. What a legend. The oh that it's like Muck. A uh, Grimer. Which one is it? Is it Muck or Grimer? I haven't played Pokemon in a long time. Um I guess it'd be it's Grimer, right? Not Muck. Hold on. Take a look. Grimer Pokemon. I, I think it's Grimer from like the first generation. Yeah, no, it, it's Muck. I was, I was, I was right the first time. It was Muck. Yeah, it looks like Muck. <laughs> We're basically fighting Muck. No, it, it's Muck. That's a good question. Why didn't Cornelia recognize Orpheus in the um? There wasn't the Christmas one. You would think they would recognize each other. Oh well, who knows? Okay. But that's a good point. Yeah, it's it, we're fighting muck in this game. Awesome. Copyright infringement, don't you think? I mean, you fight Master Hand in this game, and they also fight muck too. What what um no oh, awesome stuff. I'll say one thing, this I'm getting a lot of uh dike back that I lost from all those summonings. We lost we we spent like 9k. I'm head out. All right, dude. Thanks for for uh for stopping in. Why is my connection? It tells me here it's fine. It's so weird. My connection was bad. Now it's fine. C2 versus Euphemia. To the loyalty to, to their maid. <laughs> um, I don't think there's a. I don't think you can, you can decide who was more loyal because Euphemia like did everything for Suzaku, and C2 was very loyal to Lelouch. So that's um. I don't know. The elite team of the Glee Knights to fight Lelouch. The relationship was important. Yeah, but the game has to acknowledge that, you know? I don't know. You 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 ask a... Uh, you bring up a very good point. I have no idea why Cornelia doesn't even recognize uh, Orpheus Alderan. We at least... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I can't recall... I can go back to the footage that I have, but I can't recall one time where Cornelia, like, specifically mentioned Orpheus Alderan... Um, as if she was familiar with them from the past. I, I can't remember. Um, I, I don't remember, honestly, if there was anything like that. I'm going to assume there wasn't because, uh, yeah. Oh, 
I'm not acting like, like, yeah, that's really stupid. It's all thing of being a story play setting. It's kind of annoying. Oh, okay, Fiend level two already. Nah, nah, kinda. <laughs> I'm gonna be me. I'm, I'm being mean to um to I know. Nah, nah, I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah, Load. Battle starter. It's cool how they make you use Colin and I know. I think in reality, if they did meet, let's say in a new show, they would be best friends, even siblings. She could be like, she could, Colin could be like a mentor to I know, as a younger, as like an older sister thing, since she lost to her older brother. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I know and, and Colin could be a fun spinoff series, or even just like a, a side plot in the next anime. But uh, we'll never get that, so why am I even bothering? Think about it. So far, we're cruising through this pretty easily. Not surprised. I think she would have loyalty question because you feel it was loaded enough to lose to keep zero identity secret from Saku. Intimacy, level two. Get some dite. Not a lot of dite, but get some. <laughs> yeah, there's well, that whole birthday event was so stupid because every character acted out of like no one was like, wait, they didn't say either what you said there, which is uh wait, Lelouch the Emperor or who's Lelouch? You know, either way, it's like, hey Totsia, you want to come to Lelouch's party? Uh sure, but wait, who's that again? You know, like there's no um they don't say like they don't question anything. It's funny. The characters that should hate Lelouch are like, sure, whatever. And the ones that like know him are are too um or don't know him, but don't even ask the question. It's kind of weird. Now we're in Ashford, apparently. So we left the school book, I guess. I imagine they would be. So I think it's kind of loud. We just lower it a little bit. Alright. Okay. Why do you choose black? How big is that shelf? Um well I'm six feet tall and it's shorter than me, so maybe five feet. Why black? Well, it came with the place. I didn't choose black. I do agree the colors are a little um like I wear black and it's black in the background. I do agree the colors don't really mesh well. <laughs> yeah, mesh. Um I'll have to maybe get like a better um a better colored shirt so it doesn't like because black and black is kind of bad. I won't I won't disagree with that. If you're one with the color contrast, yeah, it's not the greatest. Um what how strong black knights with a piece mark? How strong black knights would be a piece mark organization or That'd be kind of cool, yeah. But they kind of did, but not officially, right? Because they helped out. They went to stop Lelouch, but they kind of did work together in a sense. Yes, Yuffie. Happy Valentine's Day. It's funny they put the two characters who died <laughs> and made them like the summon. It's, it's kind of funny. It's not funny. It's, it's actually awful. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, I stuck in one. Awesome. The more gas powers you use, the more uh, money you get, or more high score. Man, it sure looks so. Good. Oh, I didn't get one. I got only two in there. Try best to spam it.
Yeah, an alliance did make sense, or could have made sense, I guess. Never happened, though. Mm, never did happen. It's a good point, though. It could have been Ultra Universe, maybe. Not the one we got, though. Why are we so worthless against his enemy? What the hell? Jeremiah, yes, your majesty. Hmm. Okay. I mean, Orpheus and Luke had a lot in common. That is very true. Lots in common. This is really the fact that V2 ruined both their lives. <laughs> and they had Gia's power, too. Which was, and they both had Gia's power that were kind of deceptive in nature. I believe or uh, Orpheus makes people think he's someone else, and Luke obviously tells people what to do, so... Oh, hold on. I want to bring up something. Well, I'll ask this question first. Um, four Holy Swords versus Dalton Sons. Oh, God. That's a hard one. Okay. First thing. Does Toto count in the Four Holy Swords, or do we not include Holy uh, Toto? Because you have because you have five Dalton boys, right? You have, um, you have uh, David, Edgar. I, I know all of them. Hold on. David... Edgar, Albert, Bart, and Claudio. Um, four fifths died. Date Claudio's the one that lived. So there's five Dalton sons. There's five Holy Sword members. So if you include Toto, the black the 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 four Holy Swords win. If you do not include Toto, no, they get killed. No offense. I like Chiba, Asahina, Senba, and Odebe, but. Claudio, for sure, is already stronger than all of them. Maybe not statistically, because he didn't fight as much as the other ones, but like as a pilot, I mean, he's pretty powerful. Uh, David's not bad either. I would say that Albert and Bart are the two weakest members. Edgar is kind of like mid, but Claudio and um, Claudio and David are pretty strong. Yeah, with Toto, I think they win pretty easily, because Toto is very powerful. Plus, his nightmare frame is, you know, top level. It, it, but if it's not total, if he's not with them, I think they're screwed. Uh, Lush, the genius, and Orpheus to um, a blonde Britannian versus Zaku. Skillful nightmare frame pilot. Yeah, there's, that's also true. So what I was going to say, so I watched that video you guys discussed, I discussed um, yesterday. You know, the whole, like, intelligence thing between Light and uh, Lelouch. And I have a couple of critiques about it. At first, I was actually going to um, put a, post a comment, but I don't want to. And the reason why I don't want to is because I don't want this, this video to get uh, to to blow up or get attention because it's really bad. I don't mean disrespect to the person who made it, but like the video was just god awful. Uh, for one thing, the person judged what was it? Whoever used intelligence the most, like had better intelligence. I was like, that makes no sense. That that like that logic is so stupid. They also got like the, the definitions wrong too of the different type of intelligences. So I was like, that's not what that is. It was really it was really stupid. And I, I know um Ryan, you comment on the video. Um, you know, which is fine. You know, do 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 what you want to do. Uh, I, I wouldn't have wasted my time, honestly, with that because the amount of research that was put into the video wasn't great. The effort was also god awful too. Like Look, my voice is terrible, but at least you, you know it's me talking. The person used some kind of like, I don't know, auto-read system, but a very bad one where you can tell it was not his own voice. If it was, well, I don't know what to say. I guess I'm being a dick then. But the video was very lazy put together. The points were a couple times there were some decent things here and there, but 
all around, like I was just really disappointed with the the content, especially the argument where it's like if you do something, it because Lelouch used his interpersonal more than, than light, therefore like he's got better or something, or like light used more mathematical logistical than than Lelouch, which is not even true. But let's say it was, so therefore he's better. I mean that that's so dumb. Like basically, what the guy was saying was. If you have two people, person A and person B, uh, person A gives one speech a year. They make about a million dollars for that speech, and they're like one of the best orators in the world. Um, and they go against person B, who makes like, I don't know, 10 speeches a year or 100, whatever. They get paid like 10 bucks a speech, and they're awful. By his logic, person B is a better speaker than person A because he speaks more often. That's not how that works. That doesn't make any sense. And then as we discussed yesterday, the whole like, because the Lush or because Light can is a better athlete, the Lush is somehow not a um, he's not a he, he's weaker than Light in the physical um, not physical what was the term um, which which tell was that um, it's not physical where the one the one where you're uh, I don't know why I'm blank on the name but the one about how your your abilities to like fight and also move your body and balance things like that. I don't know what can can aesthetic intelligence, can aesthetic. So because it is more than just simply being good at, at, as an athlete, it's also the idea of like um, acting, moving your body, contortion. There's like different aspects to just being kinesthetically intelligent. He didn't mention that. He also didn't even talk about verbal linguistic, which was strange to me because that's like if the guy was quoting Howard Gardner, which I don't think he was, he, he should have mentioned verbal linguistic, and he never does in that one. When he discussed naturalistic intelligence, he got it completely wrong. It's not about your understanding of nature of people. That's in, that's interpersonal intelligence. Naturalistic is just simply people who have an affinity for biology, life, um, I guess the environment, right? That's that's what um, that's what naturalistic intelligence is. It's not like contemplating what happiness is. That the contemplation of happiness that was simply a more of a logistical. Uh, mathematical because uh, conceptualizing abstract concepts that makes you smart in that area, which he didn't bring up, by the way. That's how I know he didn't do any research on the video. That, that's why I don't want to even comment and argue about what he was pointing out. Because if the person actually put effort and researched the different intelligences and then came out and I was more like, I don't agree, but I guess you made some good points, then maybe it'd be worth my time. But we're not even there at the, we're not even there discussing it. Um, so again, I'm not even going to borrow commenting on the video. I was disappointed. The, the 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 funny part too is like he even said like Lucia's smarter, which is fine, but I don't really care. Okay, I would have preferred if he instead said um, Lucia was not smarter and gave reasons why. You know, what I mean, like it seems like these people who make these videos they. They have to like say Lush is good and Kogias is great, but they don't really understand the story. So it feels it feels forced. Like they didn't actually know what they're talking about. It's just some forced um thing they have to do because they know it's popular, as opposed to actually understanding why these are the way they are. Shonen Showdown's also guilty of this. There's a ton of channels that make the one and done videos, and they're just as guilty too. They feel like they have to like the character, even though it doesn't come across as genuine or even uh, I don't know accurate the video was pretty bad he made other ones too about like other scenarios i'm not gonna waste my time it, it, it was not a good video so i'll say that much it was it made me very i was disappointed to say the least all right that's what i want to say about that one um he said loose always questioned his motives when light never did therefore lights burn lotion in person intrapersonal um no that makes i guess i can address that real quick First of all, interpersonal is not just like accomplishing your goals. It's also just understanding yourself very well, your own personal nature and what you want, which is, I guess is goals. But it, it, it goes more um, detailed than that. See, the guy said in the video that – I, I said I was going to stop, but whatever. The guy said in the video that Light knew what he wanted and he knew how to get it. And here's the thing. No and no. He didn't know what he really wanted. He didn't know how to get it. How do we know he didn't know what he really wanted? Because when uh, L died, not yeah, when, when L died, Light was like kind of bored, and so he didn't really know what to do at the point. God, Muck, 
round number two. And he had two years, like, with L gone, and the world still wasn't the way he wanted it to be. He even, um, he even when he when he killed L, he's like, I'm the god of the new world, okay? And then when uh, Nier and Mello joined the group, he said, if I kill Nier, I become the god of the new world. So what does that even mean? Is it just like you're waiting for the next smart person to challenge you? Are you just bored out of your mind? Is like conquering the world is just a, um, a way to quench your boredom? See, there's no like, there's no consistency in, in Light's goals. They're vague and like, they're vague, unproven, you know? If there was some out, person out there who had, let's say, stopped crime in the world and he had some example to go off, sure. Like, I was saying with the other day, right? If we look at, um, uh, let's say Naruto, right? Big spoil, I guess, for Naruto. But he wanted to become Okage. And here's the thing about that goal, right? It might seem crazy, impossible in his current situation, but the idea of someone becoming a, a Hokage is not um, its not some new, unheard of thing. Because, yeah, you can become a Hokage. They have existed before, they'll exist in the future. So some kind of proof of concept. So that makes sense, right? Or... Um, See, when our character's got a really easy goal, uh, goal to understand. Like you could, you could bring up Goku, which is kind of like Light's goal, except Goku. I know that sounds, that sounds kind of weird, but what I mean is like, um, you know, Goku wants to be the best fighter in the world. So there's no end to that. But Goku is also not a very sophisticated character, and the simple goal of trying to be the best fighter in the world, at least, it somewhat makes sense because, or you can kind of understand it because it's a, uh, you can you can kind of see where he's getting right. The more opponents he fights, the stronger he gets. Like if Light's goal was to be the smartest person on the planet and defeat everyone who was weaker than him. Okay, that makes sense. Everything was kind of leading to that moment. But that's that's not what happened. So, oh, here's another example, too, you, you could think of, right? Uh, let's look at Demon Slayer, which I'm watching now. It's pretty good. And in Demon Slayer, let's see what happened. Um, Tandra wants to get Nezuko to um, become a, uh, a human again. He wants to cure her demon, her demon um, curse. A little spoilers there, but you guys already know the story at this point. If you don't, I do apologize. But anyways, uh, in the story, in, in the story, there's no definitive way to do this. However, however, here's the thing that I like about it. They do present ways it could happen, some proof of concept or some means to get to it. Like, you know, there's this, this one person they ran into, I forgot the name. She's like figuring a way to cure the demons. And they said that the guy who created them used it, I believe, or MJs, as people call them. Either way, I would look at it. There's some like reasonable way you can get there. There's a way to track it and see how we're doing. Like he's giving the blood to the girl so she can, the woman, so she can analyze it to come up with a cure. So you can see there's progress coming to a certain goal. With Light Yagami, there's like, we don't know how close he is or far from any goal he's trying to achieve because the story is absolutely nothing. Oh, we're, we're not going to win this. I got to switch my team. Up. We're going to be so screwed. Um, that's the problem with Light Yagami. Like, his goals are so vague and nowhere. Like, you can't even track this if that's even – one, you don't know if it's possible, and two, you don't know how he's even trying to acquire it. And three, in all honesty, we don't know what he's even trying to do. Now, compare it to Lelouch, right? What are Lelouch's goals? Pretty straightforward. He wants to destroy Britannia. He wants to find who killed his mother and make a world where he can live peacefully. By destroying Britannia, he can make the world a better place because he'll wipe the leadership out and reform the country. Now, here's the thing, right? Those are also very um, big goals, maybe impossible. But the important part is that we might, we might I might get killed here. The, the important part here is that those things are at least um, possible. And they've been done before. Like empires have fallen, empires come and go, right? So the idea they could be destroyed or, or come back to life, but that's that's a real possibility. So that's at least. Okay, stop. stop shit. I'm about to get killed here. That's at least possible, right? That's why that works. But with like um, Death Note, there's been no like ever, unless it's like a dictatorship, and even then it doesn't really stop crime. So nothing that a light was trying to do has ever been done before, or at least never been shown to be done before. That's why to me, it was a stupid goal, or at least not something that was more, it was not intra, his intelligence was pretty low in that in that regard. Lush was very focused, and Lush always self evaluated where he was in the goal and had to make uh, changes as he went on. He was never distracted by emotions. He used the emotions to reformulate his plan. When Nully died, when he thought she died, he was like, well, okay, now she's gone. I have no reason to live anymore. You know, just kill me now. That was his um his thought process going in there. And that, that makes sense, given what we know about his character. 
those are examples of where um, those are examples of where interpersonal intelligence was at the highest point or how high they were, I should say. But with like light, it's it, there's constantly no self awareness in this guy at all. Of what he's trying to accomplish. All right, I don't want to keep going on with this. I mean, I could, but light Lloyd versus Arkshada in terms of their creation, mere moments, and their factions. Um. In terms of the creations, I would say probably Rakshada, since Lloyd even tinkered with her own uh, stuff when she when he made the excuse me the Gurren Satan elements, so definitely there. Rakshada also made the Gephion Disturber. She also worked out the uh, the, the the Druids the shields that for the um, the Shinkiro, and she also uh, got the Gwen going. Although Lloyd could have got it going too, let's be honest. But I, I, either way, uh, Rakshada definitely accomplished more than Lloyd did in terms of like the creations. And I think his were actually better. Hers were better too. I mean, basically what do you like more? The, the Gurren or the Lancelot? I'm, I'm more of a Gurren person than a Lancelot. I don't like the Gurren seat. I think it's extremely uh, frustrating to, to, you know, I don't like the design, but the overall, um, but the rest of it, I do like. So, um, so there's that. I'm, 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 I'm pseudo paying attention. I have to keep adding my Gios power to, um, Oh no! Crap! What did what did Muck just do? What the fudge was that? Gale Ham! Come on, Darth Maul, do your thing. Until showtime. Okay. All right. I think Lloyd might be smart. He might be smarter. Hard to say. They're, they're pretty um. They're pretty equal. I mean, uh, relatively, because they work together, so they they know each other very well. Um. It's hard to tell not much about Rakshada is known. I mean, Lloyd's the same. We don't know much about her either. I mean, him either. Jesus. <laughs> we don't know much about her either. <laughs> uh, I'm so smart. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh, geez. 128. Oh, my God. Do you see that? 128. What the fudge? We went from... Hold on. Let's go back a second here. We went from 102... To 128. Are you kidding me? I knew this was going to happen. I freaking knew this was going to happen. They capped everyone up to 100. So now every single bell going forward takes that cap into consideration. So if your character not in a level 100, you know, don't even waste your time. Like I can put, I can put my best team for it and we'll still get crushed. Just to demonstrate how stupid this is. Here, let's let's do it. So I'll put in uh, Euphemia uh, Zero and the regular Euphemia. We're, we're still going to get owned. But I just want to demonstrate how stupid this is. Um, where is Euphemia? Euphemia. Where is she? Am I blind? Euphemia, where are you? Where thou art, thou Euphemia. Oh, there she is. Okay. It's a pretty powerful team. We'll still get owned. Man, 120 something. That's disgusting. Do you know how much you need to spend to get one character to 100? It's like ridiculous. <laughs> this is going to be so ugly. But I'm, I'm just curious to see how badly we, we get like uh, we get destroyed. I imagine it's not going to be pretty. I'll give her a shield. Doesn't really matter because we're we ain't winning anyways. Okay, let's see how dumb this gets. All right, more more stuff I have to read here. Let's see. Uh, Naruto's interpersonal intelligence was becoming Hage uh, intra, right? Naruto also was very good at understanding people's um, personal. Uh, he was very good at reading people's personal uh, feelings and emotions. Like in the story, he convinced a lot of bad people to do good things because he knew what he was doing. He understood it pretty well. Um, <laughs> Lelouch was broken and was fine with dying. Diggy not only died while Light was going to kill his sister and never cared about his family dying. I mean, here's the thing about, about that whole like that whole argument. While it is absolutely true, it has nothing to do with like if Light was smart and Lelouch. But yes, in terms of being a good person, Light was not. That That is definitely uh, for sure. Light also does, that's another thing too, Light doesn't really consider the depends of others because he thinks he's the smartest guy out there. That's also very true. Are we going to win this? There's no way we're going to win this. There's no way we're going to win this. We might win this actually because everyone's really powered up. Plus Lelouch is, oh, damn it. Oh, maybe we'll get a little bit. Mother, zero. Edward for soul. Look how stupid this is. Oh my god. I'm literally spamming the button. Oh, forget. F fudge this shit. We're, we're not going to win this. 
Motherfucking fudgers. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play more um, of, the, of at least the battles. Damn it, that sucks. I mean, wait, hold, hold. why am I here with the fudge? Okay. So, yeah, that's garbage. I get, I get, I, I'm part of a clan. Maybe they can tell you how they beat it, but um, we can at least beat this one to get more uh, Valentine stuff. So, whatever. Oh, they get these yet? Let's see. Get these out of the way. Um, here we go. We got, we got one ticket. Hip hip hooray, I guess. Um, let's see. So they go to the tickets now. How many do you need to summon? You need. Where's the tickets? Here we go. Tickets. No. Tickets. Ah, this is the same thing. That's so stupid. Why would you? They don't give you one a day though. Ugh, lame. Just lame. Okay. Let me uh let me go buy some stuff here. Okay. And they can go to the alliance and buy some stuff too. I feel like Lloyd, I feel like we know Lloyd better. I didn't even know for China for at all at first when I watched the show. Oh, really? Because they were they kept mentioning her all the time, but let's have Renya and Colin team up, the two broken arm team. Um, I guess I can do that. Let me just um, buy some stuff first. Uh, how many can I buy? That's cool. Let's go pick those up. I bought eight. That's not bad. Eight, eight's pretty good. Well, um, yeah, that's a good point too. It was kind of the the analysis was very uh, simplistic. That's the other problem. There was no nuance, and it was very simplistic, and it was based on hey, who did it more? I'm like, who did it more? That's not a, like, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything, you know. That's our problem too. Like the whole analysis was based on like who did it more. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, you know. Like who who cares who like did it more, and why would that mean anything? It was it was it was not well done to say the least it, it was it, it was bad video um yeah i don't know where he got the inspiration from i'm not gonna be one of those guys who goes like oh he must have watched me and copied my video maybe he did i don't know but um if he did if he did watch my video and took inspiration from it he didn't watch it clearly because i, I explained the different intelligences and i also went over like um you know the best examples of each character and why i think one is bringing another but i never I specifically said they were pretty much equal in all the areas um, because it's hard to judge who is significantly better in one area or the other. The reason why Intra and Inter, and Inter were the only ones I could really judge who was smarter because it's, the story spends a lot of time in those areas. We see Lelouch always relating to different people and leading the Black Knights, and we see Light doing the same thing with the police force and how he interacts with um, Misa, um, Taka, and, of course, um, L and... Uh, and Naomi. So because we see majority of these people, we, we can understand his interpersonal intelligence. And because he always talked about his personal plans, we can learn about his interpersonal intelligence. The same goes with Lelouch. That's why you can look at those two areas. Uh, logical, you know, the mathematical, I mean, uh, how do you how do you judge that? I mean, yeah, Light was the best uh, student in the world, I guess. But Lelouch was able to calculate a Flea, um, the, the Flea deactivator in like a couple of seconds or, you know, roughly a couple of seconds. He could calculate the shield of the Shinkero also. Like, those are hard things to do. So, you know, I he wrote, like, a whole long list of stuff about each one. And, again, not everything he said was wrong. It's just that the conclusion he drew from them was wrong. I keep going back and forth with it. It's so frustrating. Uh, there are a lot of more important characters that didn't, that didn't notice the first time the show, like Detard, Toto, Guilford, and Saiko. Um, I think Saiko was definitely something I didn't really know as much in the first season. I, I'll agree with that one. Um, Toto, I definitely did. I kind of like this character a lot. Detard, um, yeah, I also did. Um, maybe Lloyd? I no, I think I noticed Lloyd a lot. Lloyd's not a good example. I'll try to think also I didn't notice me in the first season. Mm. I wouldn't waste your time uh, commenting on the video. It, it's kind of pointless because, um, you know, don't put the effort in if there was no effort to begin with. Well, he said in his, I, I read his response. He said it's because um, he knew of Taizo. I'm like, yeah, because he looked him online. 
Light hacked his dad's computer to find the police stuff. So does that make light any better? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> it's so stupid. I, I, wow. Okay. Wasn't well, didn't kill Genbu? Oh, I, I actually can answer this one. If it, if he didn't kill Genbu, then Japan would have lost the war and they would have lost all their force. It would have been really bad. More people probably would have died as a result because they would have kept going on till the end. That would have been really bad. It, there would have been more people would have died. Uh, hot take, but Suzaku saved a lot of lives that day, even if it didn't seem like it. Man, I can't get like freaking red and orange. What the hell? I'm spending all my freaking money on this thing. Come on now, let's go. Yeah, that's true. Lloyd's Lloyd, Lloyd has definitely got a, a quite a personality that you don't forget. Oh my god, how many times have I done this? We're like a hundred times. <sighs> oh my god, stop. RNG pools are the freaking worst. Like, just I'll pay a little bit of it. I have to keep like hoping to god I get what I want. Uh, yeah, man. There we go. Red and orange. Good enough. I, I prefer red and red, but again, it's good enough. Okay, now let's 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 keep on throwing to get the, the last one. Okay. Gotta be careful because you can consume your other one by accident. The game lets you do that for some stupid reason. Who made this game? We're so smart. You shouldn't be able to con you should not be able to consume previous ones. That's that's so dumb. If you want to get rid of them, you can just sell them. Why would you ever want to consume your own code links when they're all completed? It makes no sense. Um Yeah, for sure they would have died. Absolutely. Yeah, Lloyd's other character, I guess you wouldn't notice. I don't know. For me, me, I forgot about him. Um, who else? <sighs> Again, I wouldn't. I wouldn't we, we could we could scribble this all day. I, I just wouldn't waste your time with it. It's it's pretty bad. Um, and the problem too is like. Devno and, and Kogias are such different series. Like it's like if Light was in the Kogias world, he'd probably do different things. Or if Luffy was in his situation, he would have done less things. It's that's the problem. If you want to compare, let's say, I don't know, Light to maybe Johan, which is still not a great comparison, or maybe to like the guy from Case Closed. I don't know what the hell his name is. Um, you know, like you gotta compare Light to someone who kind of does similar things to him because Lucia is not a detective. He doesn't do much tech, detective work outside of the Taizo thing. He's his goal is completely different than lights, and how he does it is different. So you can't. It's it's just it's so hard to compare them in that regard. But for somebody, everyone likes to do that. Yeah, Loy is definitely one of the more popular side character. There's no doubt. A video for him, it got like a thousand views pretty quickly. So yeah, people love Lloyd's character. Look, he's he's a, he's your friendly neighborhood sociopath scientist. You know how how can you not like him? He's not bad looking either. He's probably one of the more attractive men in the series. I'm working on that list, and he's he, so far I haven't ranked like in the top five of, of most attractive characters in Code Geass from the men perspective. So, uh, fun question: What if Christopher Nolan directed Code Geass trilogy, but in Tone of Dark Knight trilogy? <laughs> so we have like so. First of all, we got to do the names right. That's the first thing. So uh, we have, I guess, um, what we call that the first one: The Lush Begins. Or Zero Begins. We'll call, we'll call it Zero Begins. That'll be the first movie. Second movie will be... Um, second movie would be the uh, the Dark Knight, the Black Knight, right? And the third one will be The Black Knight Rises or The Loose Rises. I don't know. It'd be kind of funny. What would that be called? Um, but to your actual question, you didn't ask... I didn't answer your question. I, I'm just... A bit, uh, who would um or what would it be like? It'd be pretty good because you would have um you can make a more dark story, no fan service, obviously. Um, I'm trying to think like you wouldn't have Rachel Ghoul, so how would you do that? Hmm. That's the question. How would you? All oh, right, I have to do like this. Things not intuitive at all. Okay. Uh, let's see. Lachi, where is oh. I forgot the stupid thing works. You have to like, I, I select them all for some stupid reason. Okay. Up we go. And we're looking for this one. So she's got a full one there. 
And Nolly's is pretty good too. Why did Nolly? Oh, that's right. I upgraded her. That's right. So, hmm. yeah, whatever. It's fine. Um, in Linguistic Lush, believe personally, I show uh, well more speeches than Light, or you could say they're equal, but for some reason, Light is better. I don't think did he even discuss the linguistic one. I didn't. I don't remember seeing that part in the video. But again, that's hard to say because light, light was very good. At be, uh, light was very convincing many times in the story. So you can't deny the fact his his linguistic ability was was top notch. There, there's no denial there. Um, but Lush also was an epic. Uh, Lush gave tons of speeches in the story that were very memorable. I mean the. My favorites are in stage eight when he declared the Black Knights. You have turn 23 before they go into battle. That thing he, he says to uh, Guilford before he rescues the Black Knights in turn four. I mean, you can keep going on and on, but there are so many epic speeches in the story that Luce gives. And Light also, very good with the speeches. He motivated all the Japanese policemen to, you know, go after uh, just to stop uh, Kira. So. You know, no matter how you look at it, um, they both were very good in that respect. Oh, he did? Why didn't I remember that? See, if it was so bad, I don't remember. Well, that's not true. I don't know how you judge that because he used it more. Is that what his reasoning was? Lush, uh, I, I argue, shows more while speeches in light. Wait, why, why would light be better? All right, one second. I'm going to, go, I'm going to look at the video one more time to hate myself. And then that's it, though. Light versus Lelouch. Intelligence. Let's see. Let me see something. God, I hate this video so much. Linguistic. Okay, now let's see what he... He wrote a whole description. Oh, he wrote it here? Okay, let's see. Wow, he even got claimed in his video. What an idiot. All right, anyway. God, I'm so, I'm so salty right now. Okay, let's see. Linguistic. Light slowly learns information about a person whose name he's trying to get. He knows exactly what to say without coming out pushy. Adding if we understanding friends, Lush conquered corner with seemingly no explanation in it. So knowledge of certain events create a situation where he can sway a person's view by using his own word to look to have incriminated him. What the fudge? At first, we prove innocence. Overall, both are nearly even. Skyboard, however, more time Lush is stuck in scenarios where he doesn't know what to say and act out of rather. He doesn't know what to say and acts out rather than communicating. Light only communicates, faces communication once in a series. No. Wait, 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 wait. No. Lush doesn't know what to say? You mean like with women? Then that's interpersonal. See, the guy mixed it up, okay? Um, interpersonal is the ability to relate to people and not relate to people. Um, linguistic is just how well you give speeches and stuff and, and your, um, and your ability to communicate ideas. It has nothing to do with like, not always knowing what to say at different times. That makes no sense. That, that's, that, that's, that, that's not how you would evaluate it because both of them are very good at articulating ideas and explaining stuff on simple and complex levels. Being like caught, accidentally or, or not knowing what to say at all times that's that that's a whole nother thing like that's no like here let, let me just okay this this literally is like this is the last time because uh, i don't want to discuss this anymore but like or at least for today anyways i could discuss it tomorrow or whenever but if i if i type in the um uh let's see intelligences i, I keep forgetting the website i think it's called like well something anyway intelligences um Howard Gardner. I wonder if my video like influenced his or something. I don't know. But look, look, I want to read you what linguistic intelligence is. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So linguistic intelligence. They shouldn't be here. I don't want you guys want to see my, my streaming. I mean, there's nothing special about it, but you don't have to see it. Get over there. Okay. All right. So let's see. Linguistic verbal intelligence. People who are strong in linguistic verbal intelligence are able to use words well, both when writing and speaking. These individuals are typically very good at writing stories, memorizing information, and reading. So far, J 
just from that description, let me let me turn the sound off here so I can so I doesn't I don't have to compete with it. Plus, it's it's just abyss mode, anyways. So so far, just the overall description of what it is. I don't know how you could say one's better than the other. Strengths, words, language, and writing. People with linguistic verbal intelligence remember written and spoken information, enjoy reading and writing, debate or give persuas persuasive speeches, are able to explain things well, and use humor when telling stories. If you're strong in linguistic verbal intelligence, good creatures are writer or journalist, lawyer or teacher. They both argue. They both use humor in this description here. They debate all the time. Lelouch always debates against Schneisel. Um, Notice how nothing says here about like people who are intelligent verbally. Um, they can like, what's it called? They like know what to say at all times. They know how to deal with all kinds of people. None of that is it described in that description. None of that's in that description. What the fuck did I just say? None of that's in the description. So that's garbage. All right, I'm done. No more discussions on this. Um, no more discussions on that. I don't, I don't want to go further with it. And like I said, um, I. I I, I would say with, with like Ryan in general, like I mean, like to post, you know, comments and stuff. But again, I, I wouldn't waste your time with it because um, I read his responses to your comment, and some of them are kind of non sequiturs or red herrings. So I, I wouldn't waste your time with it. Put the effort in if the person puts effort in. That that's what I would say. Where's Yuffie, anyways? Oh, I know where she is. I, I know where she would be here. She's all the Halloween characters or all the the the, the special event characters. Let's see. She would be, let's see, after Luke's Kigusa, Euphemia, here we go, Halloween, Christmas, uh, New Year's, and she's right here, Valentine's Day. She looks awesome, too. We'll go back to... Um... Have you heard of existence intelligence? I've never heard of that. What is that? Let's see. Existence intelligence. Let's see. Existence intelligence is the intelligence of big picture thinking. People with exist existential. Wait, did you say existential or existence? Uh, oh, you said existence, not existential. My bad. Existence. I sure you mean existential, but okay. Yeah, I, I don't see anything with existential. I see existence. I think that's what you mean. Like in abilities. An individual's ability to use co collective values and intuition to understand others in the world around them. Is that what you mean? I'm not sure. But um, I really hate Euphemia's. Like, I hate both her looks. And it's like, this one is like so weird the way they designed her. At least here it's it's more accurate, but it's still kind of weird. Anyways, let's, let's, um, let's go with Terenya. Where is he? Yeah, his arm is definitely like really big. Look at that crap. It does like it goes to like an Akira type of thing in the manga. Well, to be fair, um, he tricked the Shinigami by using uh, her thing against him, and that's also like. Alush actually did convince Izaku to join him at the end. He also manipulated him very well. In uh, in turn 17, he basically lied to Izaku and a little bit of manipulation to get him to work with him. And, and no offense like, to Rem, but she's no more near as... as in Her character depth and intelligence is not even close to Izaku. So getting her to do what you want is not even close to getting Izaku. So it's not, it's not a fair comparison. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's in our intelligence too, but it's not really referenced in, um, what's it called? It's not really referenced in Gardeners. There's so many different ones in Gardeners as well. He keeps adding more. So it's never really clear how many there actually are or will be, but he will keep asking for more, you know, uh, asking for, I don't know if it's more, but just like submitting other intelligence they have. But, oh, you know what you do also? Hold on, let's go to the room. I forgot about this. We'll end with the room because now I can. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of couples here, so let's let's get rid of these people. Um, actually, we could do this now, which is kind of cool. I can have. Um, let's go to the new characters in there. So I can have. Uh, let's see. God, we're getting kind of crowded here. So let's have uh, Lu Chang. I think his name is and Kigusu because they're they're engaged. And then we'll have um, Totsia 
and then Euphemia. And then just for lulls, we'll put in um we'll put Lloyd in. I love Lloyd. We'll put him in. Just for lulls. Also, it's um it is his laboratory, so he should be in here. Man, Tosia is so serious. Dude, calm down. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's a little cheese coon in the background. King Seuss with, with his uh with her future husband, which makes sense to me. But um yeah, I guess if you want to do existential intelligence, then yeah, sure. You could say Luch probably has that better too because we'll be able to understand things on a, on a grander scheme. But that wasn't in my video, so I didn't discuss it. Or that wasn't Howard Gardner's list at the time that I did the video. Who the hell knows? I, in some way, I'm almost more triggered by that video than I was with like um, DXs because, it, or, or even a young, uh, what's his name? Young Defiant. Because at least with those guys, on some level, you don't, you shouldn't take what they're saying seriously because they're not trying to be serious. But with like this guy, I think he was trying. You know, that's the problem. Oh, perfect! I got the photo of the couple together. Nice. And I brought you man and wife. You know, kiss the bride. I think Kikusa and Kyo were uh, were also. Um, I think they were also. Um, What's the term? They grew up together. I mean, Tojo looks cool, but I'm just, just not a fan of him. I have a, I'm, I want to get those like really nice chairs or like these thrones you can buy, and then I'll, I'll eventually get both for each of them. You guys should discuss your wedding plans soon, I guess. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. Okay, I got it. I want to. Okay. Um, I think I'm nowhere as far as Lush, and I can think of ways to get Suzaki to join him. Frame disgrace him so you feel the previous faction will force to join him while the military. Um, I guess the Lush, right? I, I should point out that, um, yeah, there's probably ways you can get him. The question is, like, why, why didn't he not do that? I don't know. There are not eight, but nine types. Well, in that thing we just looked at, I only saw eight. Let's see. Howard Gardner. But the thing, though, is there's a bunch. I, I, I think I don't even mention in my video, but there's a bunch of intelligences that have yet to be added to the list. That are like, he, he had a recent um, lecture. It was a couple um, years ago. And when he discussed the lecture about intelligence, as he mentioned how there's some that he has not considered yet. Or, yeah, because they're not adding. He was saying, like, there's some that people want him to put in there, but he hasn't thought about it yet. So here's the nine types. Naturalistic, musical, logical, mathematical, existential. That's the one you were discussing. Interpersonal, linguistic, body kinesthetic, intrapersonal, and spatial. So the, the existential one wasn't in the book I read. Maybe he added it recently. Then again, they still haven't like um, defined that stuff yet. Maybe if he gets kicked out of the, as a viceroy, Zaka would have to join. I mean, yeah, there, there probably were ways. I got the impression Luz basically gave up and didn't want to try game to join anymore. That was my assumption. But yeah, I bet you if he wanted to, he probably could kick him with some ways to, to convince him. Uh, but I guess early on, he just didn't, he had bigger goals to work on. I don't know. The story would be a lot different. They focus on that for sure. Uh, a couple more questions and things, and then we'll move on. Um, Guilford versus Jean Rowe in terms of nightmare frame combat. The Gracious or Gracious versus the Vincent Command. Okay, well, first of all, if it's the Vincent Command uh, Commander, no, it's over. That thing is way stronger. You want to say the Gloucester, the Gloucester versus the uh, Grace, Gracious, that might be a closer battle. Um, especially if Guilford uses the uh, the the vibrant uh, br blade he used against um, what's his name Toto. So in that in that regard, can I guys zoom in? Hold on, there we go. No, damn it! Sit down, Kisu. Sit down. No, oh, damn it! Get get back to the the, the chair. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, um, if it's like the the same nightmare frames or, or the Gracious versus the the, the Gloucester, 
John has a chance, but if it's like the Vincent Command Mile, no way, man. Guilford definitely claps. I agree. <laughs> definitely claps. I'm definitely digging You Feed the Warrior. Yeah, it's really cool. It, it's a really nice outfit. I want to get Shirley's too, but I, well, whatever. If you make Akito's, yeah, exactly. Well, if you use like the, the latest Nightmare Frame, that's why if you're going to do Akito, because the other problem too, you got to understand, or I think you understand as well, is that Akito takes place between R1 and R2. So they don't have flight enable stuff yet. The only Nightmare Frames that could fly at the time was the Gwen and the uh, Lancelot. But until um turn, what was it, four, they didn't like get the, they didn't mass produce the flight enabled uh, device. So every Nightmare Frame uh, from Akito fighting one from, um, what's it called? Fighting one from from uh, R two, you don't have a chance to win because they're they're just too OP. So if you want to say like Guilford in the Gloucester versus John Rowe, okay, you might have something there, but you can't say something like no get to, yeah whatever. Uh, I could rather Alexander Lute ver or early Lute versus Toto on R one. Um, you mean the, the Gekka? Um, I think I think uh, Akito wins that battle. Uh, just because his fighting style is like total is not total's nightmare frame is really powerful, but it's not good for like quick attack. He's very slow and methodical, which is good against something like a Suzaku. But Akito's fighting style, especially when the Alexander Liberté is so sporadic and all over the place, and it, it's just it's wild and chaotic. Uh, total could not stop that, it'd be very, very difficult. I mean, he could barely stop Suzaku, and, and Suzaku is pretty fast, you know, in combat, but like reflexes are insane. Absolutely insane. So, and, and plus, I don't think Toes ever fought a Nightmare Frame that can, like, change its form. Like, the Akido can, like, transform Spire to normal you know, back and forth. And that would give him a huge advantage over Toto. He's not used to that type of combat, so probably not. Shirley's a warrior tool, uh, too. Um, no, uh, Shirley had... Here, I'll, I'll show you. She wasn't a warrior. What she had was, like, this really nice outfit. She Yuffie is the warrior, but like Shirley had, yeah. See, she had like this nice little gown, almost like she's going to like a dance or something. Yuffie has the warrior suit, no, not not uh, not Shirley, but still, look how nice this outfit is, you know. But whatever. Anyways, all right, we'll do a couple more. Uh, Orpheus versus Akito, the Byakugan versus Alexander. Um, I don't know much about Byakugan. I know it doesn't. I know it's based on the was it the first Gurren Type One that came out, or the Mark One, and that one was pretty basic. So Byakugan is pretty basic in terms of its capabilities as like what it can do. I know it's uh, it's very powerful though. So hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen much. I haven't read much of Oz. I think Akito would again have the advantage because again his his the way he fights it's so um. It's very hard to beat someone like that. I mean, the only reason why, um, what's his name? The why Shing, uh, Sh not Shing, Shin defeated him in battle, or I did, it actually was a draw. But the reason I was so close because Shin, his nightmare frame is just so overpowering. I don't think Byakuya is the same level as the uh, first second Torex. So because it's not the same level as the first second Torex, I don't know if Byakugan could take out. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. By the way, I've been watching the Star Wars Theory Challenge, one of you guys recommended, and I was, um, I was, what's it called? I saw he did like the versus battles. It's pretty interesting stuff. So I've been taking notes on how he presents it because one of you guys recommended it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go check it out. <laughs> Lloyd by the Gwen makes sense. He couldn't get it working. Is this glasses in his face? What is, is that a glitch? I think the glasses is like, look at that. That's weird. Do you see that? The glass is like, whoa. Guys, fix this bug. Lloyd's glasses are like falling off his face. What is this? Like the glass came off and it's, oh, oh God. That's, is that a glitch? It looks like a glitch to me. Anyways. God, I hate totes. Yeah, just him. I, just, I don't care. I just got him. I'm, 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 kick, I'm booting him from the room. <laughs> He's so annoying. I just can't. No. We'll bring Renya in here instead. Ninja Nunnally. That's funny. 
Ninja Nunnally. Yeah, I think Lloyd's glitched. Anyways, uh, let me go back out. All right, well, I, I kind of wanted to do, I summoned one character, went through the majority of the story, and got a bunch of cool stuff. So, you know, all well ends well, I guess I could say. Anyhow, guys, this will be a pretty short stream. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, I will see you guys uh, Sunday for more awesome stuff. But uh, have a good night, guys. Thanks for um, Thanks for tuning in.